Thomas Faircrest for the Canadian Free Radio. Recent developments to the South have the Foreign Ministry worried as the United States descends into chaos. from the window. Looks like Cindy's. All right, everybody. Look for anybody left behind and bring them back to the truck. Let's be quick about this. Thanks again for doing this for me. I know how much this means to you, Vicky. Now get your family and let's get out of here. We're closer to the lines as it is. So worried. Where were you? It's all right, Mom. Dad, and I'm making sure you all will be too, but we need to leave. What is that you're wearing? It's okay, but can we talk about this upstairs? Well, Dad. I've joined the Second Continental Army as a scout. We liberate those who have been oppressed by capitalism. How could you do that, Victoria? Haven't you heard what they've done? Only the lies and propaganda spread by those who won't open their eyes. Civilians like you aren't allowed the same information we are. Civilians. Now you talk like we're not even family. They're giving refugee status to people. I can bring you all to safety, but we have to leave. The Unionists are coming, and there will be a battle here. No. We're staying here. The Federal Army will come and sweep both sides away. If the Unionists are coming here, then we could... No! As long as we don't draw attention to ourselves, We'll be fine. You'll be dead. Unionists don't worry about civilians. Haven't you heard about the St. Florence Massacre? At least let me take George. He's too young to fight anyway. Kids younger than me are fighting. It's safe behind the front lines. No raiders. No artillery. No battles. No future. You'll be pushed back eventually. I'm going and taking George with. What? It's safe behind the front lines. You can refuse to go based on politics, but let George escape all this. George will be safe here. And if there is a battle, the cellar is safe. Our home is in the middle of no man's land. We can't possibly be safe here. Mama's right. We all know both sides are closing in. Any day now, they'll be fighting right outside this house. And the army will be here. The Federal Army will push them all back. That rabble will run as soon as they get a good look at a proper army. The Feds abandoned the Capitol Corridor. They're running on all fronts. It's over. Dad, nobody is coming. That ain't true. That's just Cindy propaganda. That Let's can't be- go with Victoria. At least be together. Who cares what flag waves at the post office? They're all Americans. Cindy's 
are not American. They're hell-bent on destroying America. The only people who can bring honor back to this country is the Union State. Don't be ridiculous, George. I'm being ridiculous? Look at you! Y you're playing soldier! They didn't even give you a gun! I'm going south. I'm gonna be part of the new America. They're even more doomed than the old government! The South lost once and they'll lose again. The Germans are giving them help. Everybody knows it. They've never lost a war. They even won the Great War. Victoria. Five minutes. Just... think about it. Please. If any of you want to live, we leave now. Hey. I know it's not what you wanted, but we have to take the little victories. At least your mother will be safe. Hey everyone, my name is Jordan Pinnell. I am the writer and director of Strife, as well as the third director of Kaiser Cat Cinema and leader of the live action crew, colloquially known as Kaiser Cat Chicago. We're a group of Chicago-based filmmakers, artists, creatives, who are passionate about telling live action stories set in the world of Kaiser Reich. In the divided states, Chicago is gripped by a revolution in the 1930s. Eventually, this revolution tears the country apart and leads to the Second American Civil War. Now, 
how Kaiserreich, the divided states strife, <laughs> got started was as a film school script I wrote. <laughs> um, nobody seemed to like it, and so it just got tossed around in a couple classes, and I kept editing it and refining it, and eventually, after I graduated it, I sent it to Vincent. <laughs> Um, he loved the idea, he loved the crew I put together, and he believed in us. And that's why I'm sitting before you today. <laughs> We're so grateful to have had the opportunity to create something for the Kaiserreich community and the Kaiserkat Cinema family. It's one of the best online communities I've ever been a part of. They're so warm and welcoming, and the people behind Kaiserkat Cinema are incredible. We would love the opportunity to continue working for them. We have so many ideas we want to get out there, either following the stories of the characters of Strife or um, new stories entirely. We want to make our shorts and eventually features bigger and more enthralling and engrossing. Um, we want to use period accurate vehicles and costumes and weapons to really add to that sense of authenticity. But we need help for that. Making films are complex and expensive, doubly so during a pandemic. <laughs> um, so we need your support. And if you would like to support us, don't forget to visit our web shop where you can pick up Kaiser Cat Cinema apparel, alt history apparel, accessories and posters, and even more, uh, as well as consider joining our Patreon community. Uh, specifically, we would like to thank our top Patreon backers, John Thomas Justice, Azale, Wolf Runner, Joshua, Lincoln, Alex, Sheridan, Kecker, Davo, and Alex LePage. Your guys' contributions go a long way in helping us create more high quality, free Kaiserreich content. Thank you all. I hope to see you guys in 2021 to announce a brand new live action project. But until then, see you next time, cats.